break out your water bottles. The Gates of Life is beautiful, open in just about four and a half hours. They're expecting 50,000 people a day. Yeah, and JJ and I are here before everybody else to give you a behind the scenes look, so let's go check it out. It's official, Life is Beautiful 2022. We are rolling into the opening day. Elliot Demlo is here with us. He's a local art curator. Man, Ricky, we love the music. Love the music. Big lineup this year. The Gorillas, the Arctic Monkeys. One of my favorite personal artists, Alessia Carr is on stage. Yes. Mark Revelle is amazing. Yeah. Who are you I excited know, about? I know, I'm excited to see Charlie XCX. I'm yeah. excited to see Becky Hill, Calvin Harris. I mean, there's so many incredible artists, but we also love the art. I yeah. mean, Life is Beautiful is known for so many things, and we're just excited to see it all. Yeah, it's a really exciting year for art uh, this year. We've got amazing representation from local art. Also, we have the international powerhouse of Just Kids coming through with some amazing installations, amazing new murals, live painting, some super cool interactive pieces. Uh, it's going to be a really fun year. Elliot, when we walk around right now and get a preview, what are some of those local artists that we can expect to see? Um, right behind me, I have an amazing uh, artist duo, Locals of uh, Without a Ruler. It's a Cry and Sarissa Lopez design. Uh, we also have some live painting going on at the Huntridge stage, and that's going to be Mila May, that's uh, Nisia Hargrove, that's Travis Jackson, and that's my wife and myself all painting live through the weekend. Oh my that's God, amazing. you can painting live. That I love is so it. cool. So not only are you kind of in charge of what art comes in, you actually are literally on the ground painting yourself. Yep, can't help it. Well, JJ and I are now joined by Charlotte Tutois. She's an art curator here at Life is Beautiful. We're on 8th and Fremont, and this is known as gas station to locals. We come down here to take pictures. It's been transformed by an artist called Neon Saltwater. Tell us about her. Yeah, so this is uh, the gas station, as you say. It was the empty club before. Uh, the Wallala Shack last year and this year is a uh, neon salt water piece. So it's a very uh, 80s. She loves to say that it's a mix between beautiful and spooky. <laughs> Another artist you see all over Las Vegas, pretty done. Guys, come down, join Ricky and I all weekend long at Life is Beautiful. Yeah, seriously, come hang out with us and you can get more information at lifeisbeautiful.com. Woo! <laughs>